All right, so it's a video that I don't want to do. Y'all know what it's about. Um, we're postponing the Average Joe Tournament this Saturday, 21st, and postponing the Outlaw Team Series on March 28th. We hate it. It sucks. If I'm on your side of the fence, I'm mad at us. I don't blame you. But it's part of the business. And this is truly, we've struggled with this all day. We did not want to make this decision. We did not see ourselves making this decision. We know you're going to be mad. We're mad. Um, we know you're probably going to go on social media and have some bad comments, and you're going to talk bad about us. And I've seen some of the things that Chance has had said to them no so doubt. far. And I'm going to try to have a thick skin because I really take things personally because this is my little baby. But we understand you're going to be upset, and that's okay because we're upset too. But we're going to try to make things better. Well, and, and I would, I'm not going to say I was upset or mad about it, but I, we were going to fish a tournament this Sunday, mm -hmm. and I found out earlier this morning that it was canceled. And, you know, it's easy to, from your viewpoint to look at it like, oh, they're giving in. And that's ex that was my first thought this morning when it was the KA tournament that uh, the kids from SFA were putting on. I was like, oh, it's political. You know, they just don't want to go through the hassle of getting bashed on social media. And um, <clears throat> it, there's a little more to it than that. And, and you know, I was the guy just, what, Eight hours ago, I was the big bad guy that was going, oh, no, we're not going to cancel unless they force us to cancel. And when I said that, I was like, only Jasper County or the Corps of Engineers is going to make Outlaw Outdoors postpone or cancel. And then yeah. Trump gave his speech at 3 o'clock today, and the world changed. Yeah, and I still stuck to my guns. There was a little hollering and fighting in our office when she brought it up about, we need to talk about postpone. I was like, no. I'm sticking to our guns. I mean, everybody else is canceling, postponing. We're not. And I'm not the bad guy. And <laughs> we're, you'll get around to it. And uh, I didn't give in to her. Y'all don't think that. I'm not the bad guy. I'm so, right. so after our little spit spat there, and I said, well, I got a friend that's an attorney. Let's just call Joe Glenn and get his point. I mean, he, I've known him for 40 years. We grew up together. Joe Glenn was going to side with me. I knew he was. So I call him. He says, you want me to give you your, my personal opinion or legal advice? I said, I know where you're going to stand personally. I guess I need legal advice. And he laid it all out on the table, pretty short and sweet, to be honest with you. And it's 100% about liability. And he put it this way. If somebody came to our tournament and was asymptomatic with coronavirus symptoms, so... They don't have fever, they're not coughing, they think they're totally healthy, but they're a carrier. And heaven forbid they touch something, like they accidentally touch the stairs walking up. Sure. And then the five teams behind them touch the same stairs. And they get sick. And they take that sickness home. And maybe they're going to recover because they're healthy, they're fishermen. Yeah. I mean, we're they're outside one of us. all the time. They're tough guys. But yet, they take it home and somebody has a new baby or their 80-year-old mother or maybe their wife's a cancer patient or there's so many immune compromised things and that person gets coronavirus and then they ultimately die. And that's worst case scenario. But, but in this world, it's a reality. It is. And if that happened, first of all, I couldn't live with myself if I made that decision. I mean... We put on an event that somebody died from. That sucks. And, and the part that, you know, you don't, you don't take into consideration is, you know, look, she was laying out that scenario. Let's just say Bob is the one that contracted the coronavirus at our event. Bob goes home. You know, he infects somebody who ultimately dies. Bob's my buddy. Bob's one of us. Bob's not going to sue us. He's not going to blame us. Yeah, he's not going to blame us. He's one of us. He's one of these East Texas good old boys. But it's a layer deeper. It's Bob's in-laws now that they're going to blame us for killing grandma or worse than that, killing grandson or something that just was come home from, you know, childbirth or something. So then we end up in a lawsuit. And y'all know how this world works. Yes. And, 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 and I think we all came to the real, realization this week that we're surrounded in this country by a few more people than we thought that don't share our views. We, views no longer, of things. we no longer live in the good old boy society. I did that yeah. pretty politically correct. Yes, I tried to help you. Um, 
And unfortunately, um, you know, a jury trial, if, if it went to trial, they're going to say, Trump, who did you vote for? We voted for Trump. Trump had came out and said you should only have a gathering of 10 people. There's CDC national guidelines or state guidelines or state regulations or recommendations or whatever they call them. And then there's also local that saying, y'all don't have social gatherings. And Clinton and I put on a social gathering. And not, I mean, would it affect us personally? Yes. But it would also affect out loud doors. And y'all have been here since, many of y'all since the very beginning and have helped us grow this company into what it is. And we truly try to make every decision about you guys. Like what would we want as a fisherman? Sure. And we try to make an event you would want to fish and we want to grow. We want to make better tournaments for you guys. I mean, I love the average Joe and I love the Outlaw Team Series. I love paying somebody $10,000 and I want to grow. But if something happens... Getting sued is not growing. <laughs> no. I mean, potentially, I want Doris could, could go true. away. Sure. Sure. And, and I'm going to tell you, if, if, that scenario, if that situation arose and somebody sued us, I wouldn't want to come back. I'd be so pissed that, you know, not, I don't know who I'd be pissed at. Myself, the situation, the coronavirus, I don't know who I'd be mad at. But I, I'd probably wash my hands and be done with it. I'd turn around and be a fisherman and have a good time all over again. And, it, and then it'd be your turn to put on the turn. It stinks being a business owner sometimes because you have to make these business decisions. Right. And today, Clint and I have both been faced with what does our brain tell us and what does our heart tell us. Right. And what does your East Texas good old boy tell you? Yes. And that's where I guess I potentially almost made a mistake today was just saying, no, I'm, we're going to have a tournament yeah. this weekend. So it sucks and we're sorry. And... Yeah. Please don't hate us. And but please. we have new dates. We have, Yes, we are so lucky yeah. that there was a magical date in April that was a Saturday that was still yep. available. Yep. It's been available. April 25th. Will be the Outlaw Team Series. That was the date of my senior prom. I just remembered that. <laughs> and it was at Rayburn Country, too. Well, there you go. Well, we won't have a dance at Rayburn Country because it's closed. <laughs> okay, April 25th is the date of the rescheduled Outlaw Team Series Right. Event. So, you'll, I mean, it'll be everything, you know, it'll be all the events a week before, it'll be the same thing. We'll just, we're just postponing a month. But, the good news is, is that Spawn has seemed to start it a little late. We hadn't told them when the average Joe is. Well, let's talk about this first. Okay. Let's start, it should still be really good fishing. The end of April has, oh, been, yeah. the end of yep. April has been great for us fishing. You, you should still have fish. And right. the way the results showed this weekend, I'm a firm believer the spawn just, just started, started this past week. It started late. It's going to end late. Yeah. So that April tournament's going to still, be, still be really good. Um, so that's that date. Yeah. The average Joe, that date was a little harder to come by. Yeah. Because um, we have to kind of dance around some other things. But it's going to be Sunday, May the 31st. So it will be af the day after the May 30th Outlaw Team Series. Yep. Uh, we That's really the only place we could put it. Yep. So, and we wanted to still, we obviously didn't want to just cancel it. We wanted to still give you a tournament. So, it's going to be May the 31st. And we didn't want to drag it any later. We could have had it on a Saturday in June or July, but I, I don't it's want to put hot. you guys on the water in, in June. It's too hot. And, it and this should just still be postponed. Like, like not gone out to summer yet. Should be postponed. Right. And it should be good fishing then, too. Yep. So, Maybe they're up shallow about in top water or frog or something. So anyway. we got notes. We're we're normally a little more rehearsed. Yeah, than but this, we tried but. to we tried to we, we really want y'all to know that this is a struggle for us. And and Clint and I we had a plan this morning. Like when they came <laughs> out with the fifty people regulation, like last night we were like we can do this. We can make sure there's for, just fifty people at weigh in. We we can like we absolutely. We're good. We're golden. And in my mind, I knew I can keep a weigh-in down to 20 or 25 people. When you come across stage, pat you on the back, tell you thank you, send you to your car, and go on. Even if there's two or three people out there watching, you know, I can kind of maintain that and try to stay at 20 or 30 people. I never, it never crossed my mind that I could get above 50. But when Trump had his speech today and so strongly suggested that don't go over 10, um, I still, in my mind, thought that I could keep it at 10 until you really go to thinking about it. If I cut my st our staff down to just the bare bones, I've got to have Stacy, i got to have myself, and i got to have Jared over there bumping fish. That's three. So that leaves me, you know, seven, eight, nine people in, in that 
I can have before I exceed the 10. And again, it, we're not going to get ticketed by the county judge if we went over 10. That's not the point. The point is you violated the President of the United States orders. orders. I don't mean but orders, he, but suggestions. Recommendations. Like suggestions. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is where we are. I yeah. mean, and the world we live in right now is crazy. And and last year we thought 2019, if we could get through that, like it, we were golden. I mean, Clint and I struggled with rescheduling the rabbit trap tournament twice last year because of y'all's safety. Because of storms and water level. I would love, I would, I, if y'all are friends with me on, post, on Facebook, I posted today, like can we please worry about ramp closures and not getting under the bridge? Yeah, yes. that was the good old days. Can I please just worry about that? Because that's so much easier than talking about somebody dying from coronavirus. Something we can't see. That's probably the scariest yeah. part. So, and, and we're not scared of coronavirus. No, and that's, that was what was making my decision so hard is I'm still not scared of the coronavirus. None of us, you know, none of my friends are. We don't even know anybody that's got the coronavirus. And that's what makes this decision hard is we don't even think it exists to an extent. Now, I'm not yeah, saying it doesn't it does. exist, but it's not right there at our door. And that's but what makes it suck. We're not going there anyway. And I'm sorry, Mommy. I know you hate that word, but it, this just, that's the only way I know how to say this is it sucks. And so, we, we're going to get through this. We hope that you guys still love us and don't hate us. And, and you guys, I've seen y'all being mean to Bass Champs and stuff. I, Chad and Jeff are, this is tough. Like, yeah, it is. I mean, it's a, it's a business, and you try to do what's right for the business because obviously it's us, but on the other side, we know it's y'all. So, you know, yeah, everybody that you see cancel or postpone, take it easy on them too because they're in the exact same mm -hmm. predicament that we are. They're doing it for, they're just not doing a video and being so yeah. transparent about well, it. Well, unfortunately for them, like, they can come and leave. Like, they come put on an event and leave. Like, yeah. We see y'all every week. Yeah. Like, y'all are our friends. And so, y'all, like, we have to, we're still going to see y'all this weekend. Like, we'll be at Raven. Yeah, we'll be at Raven. But we can't avoid y'all. Yeah. So, please don't, like, slash our tires or, like, throw eggs at our house. I know y'all want toilet paper at our house because <laughs> you keep toilet paper. <laughs> I ain't talking about that. That's but, not an option. Yeah. Please don't, you know, we, we really, we mean no harm. We're really looking out for you guys. And, looking out for Outlaw Outdoors so that we can continue to put on good tournaments you for you for years to come. But get this, if there's a silver lining to this, there's not going to be any tournaments for 30, maybe 45 days right now on Rayburn. I bet the next one is probably the McDonald's. Yes. Yeah, last of April, mid-April, last of April. Like so that's 45 days, a good 30 days anyway. I mentioned it a while ago, the spawn just started. The fish are going to get a tremendous break during the best 30-day window that they can get a good break. And I know there's still going to be people fishing, but you're not going to be putting them in your live well, hauling them 18 or 20 miles down the lake, putting them through the stress of weighing and all that stuff. Yeah, you're still going to catch that female on the bed, but you're going to turn her right back loose. That's way better than... The alternative. And her absorbing her eggs. Just right. go back on the bed and have her. So maybe we've been talking about that Rayburn has too much pressure and Rayburn is this and Rayburn's going down. Like maybe this is God like stepping in and saying, I'm going to take care of the lake. And that's what we're going to leave it with anyway. Is, yeah. You know, you try to find the positive in everything. So now there'll be more babies on the bed and, you know, we can still fish. It's not like they lock down the lake. As we do this video, the lake's not locked down. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen after this? So, yeah, as long as I don't hate us and like they're all or something. Just send me personal messages. You're no, not please gonna... don't send me messages because I can't take it. Like, I'm. No, he doesn't have a heart. He has no feelings, but I do. Send it. Send the hate mail. Clint at fishoutlawoutdoors.com. But don't send them to me because I can't take it. I'll just so, follow them. Anyway, so again, the Outlaw Team Series has been postponed to April the 25th. The average Joe has been postponed to May the 31st. Uh, the average, when you're watching this video, the average Joe entries that I do have, you have been refunded. Um, Square processes that. Usually, I've had people get it back the next day. Sometimes it's up to five days. But I promise you, you will be given a full refund. And then if you choose, you can re-enter on May the 31st. Um, and then the Outlaw Team Series, I didn't have many had entered yet. So yeah, we'll handle we'll, those. Yeah, we'll just call y'all in person and say, hey, do you want us to refund it or do you want to hold on to it? Yeah. Like there's not many. There's not many. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry this got so long. 
I um, just want y'all to know. It wasn't scripted. We really care. Yep. Uh, if you have anything, I mean, leave a message. Uh, leave a comment. We are going to post this on Facebook. So, you know, if you have anything to say or uh, whatever, yeah. put it. I'll do a Ken Smith right here. <laughs>